Hello, folks. Pastor Rocky Branch. Hope you're doing well this morning. Well, today I will be doing, if the Lord tarries is coming and all is well, what I've done many, many times over these 34 years. Today I'll have a memorial service, a funeral service. Today I will be with a family and lay to rest a loved one that's been, uh, well, on the earth a long time. Miss Tulsa McKinney. I called her Toots. That's Kenneth and Harold Van's mom. Earl was the dad, and Earl graduated to glory a few years back. And I have known this family for a long, long time. Well, today we'll have Miss uh, Toots's uh, memorial service here at the church at 2 o'clock. And you pray for that family if you will. My point today is that as I have uh, been doing what I've been doing for a long time, I've had a lot of these. It's a proven fact that at some point in your life, it's going to be over. Now, I don't know when. Miss Miss Toots was in the Bryan Center. She had been sick for quite a while. She was not able to communicate very well for a period of time. And she was there as well as others, many there actually in the Bryan Center and other facilities around the country. You know, your life, my life, is dwindling away. We're not getting stronger and better. We're getting weaker and older. And that's okay because our future is not here. Uh, my challenge to you today is ask yourself what contribution are you making? What are you doing with your life? What is going to happen when this time comes for you? Are you a Christian? Are you born again? I had my a minister of music give me an article the other day that was in the uh, Burnsville newspaper. And it was a article, Things We Must Know to Be Saved. Now, this uh, is from a gentleman, and I won't dignify the article by calling his name. But this perspective that this gentleman has put in the newspaper is absolutely ludicrous as far as our position in Christ. The Bible says you must be born again. And as you live your life, you must try at least to seek what God would have you do. It's very important, beloved, to understand that this life is temporary. That's why it's called temporal. It's temporary. And we have to understand that one of these days, you and I, we're going to be no more. And if the Lord tarries is coming and you have a service like we're going to have today, somebody like myself, somebody else is going to stand up and say a few words. But you are going to keep on living. And that's very important to understand today. What are you doing with you? What are you doing with your life? What are you doing with your life toward Christ? Somebody says, well, I don't believe all that stuff anyway. Well, that doesn't make it not true just because you say you don't believe it. That doesn't change a thing. God said it's true. I'm going to take his word instead of yours. And I know that according to the word of God, what happens in your life when you're changed I'm a living testimony of that, and I've made mistakes in quite a few of them, but I want to tell you, God changed your life. You see, there has to come a point in your life where you realize that this life in which we are living is not going to be forever, and what we do in this life is going to matter in the life to come. You say, well, pastor, what's all that about? I don't know what all that's about. I, I don't know the whole details. It's not given in Scripture, but what is given is that this is for a short period of time and eternities forever. And what we do now matters then. So let me encourage you today. Make your life count. Do what you can for the glory of God. Listen, hey, listen. Many of us have wasted some precious years. I put myself in that category, although I've been doing this for 30, almost 34 years, but many of us still, we have wasted, we have wasted opportunities. Don't waste any more. Get in church where they preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, where they love you. Get in church where unity is found. You say, well, Lord, where is that church? Well, that church is hard to find, but they're out there. I think we do a pretty good job here. We're seeing some things change. We'd love to have you. I just want you to understand that your life is valuable. It's worth something. You need to do something with it. You don't need to sit and sulk and blame everybody else for issues. There comes a time that you're going to have to answer that time is guaranteed in the future for you and me. We're going to have to answer for what we have been provided with to work with. Many personalities, much ability out there. You have all sorts of great 
blessings ahead of you if you'll turn to the Lord. Well, everything doesn't always work out. Even if you're a Christian, you have some problems along the way because that's part of life and we have to deal with life. But make sure, make sure that you understand today that one of these days life is going to be no more as you know it. So therefore, you and I need to do the best we can. Will I die? Yep, I'll die. My body will lay down. My flesh will lay down. In fact, I did some uh, athletic stuff the other day, and I was sore for two days. Well, that's just the way it goes because our bodies get weary and tired. When I was a kid, like you, could run, jump, everything. Now it gets a little harder. Well, God's going to make a way for us, but spiritually speaking, beloved, we need to be right with God. So if you are not right with God, let me encourage you. Take some time and talk to him. Let me encourage you. Come to the church. We'd love to have you here at First Baptist. We'd love to have you to come in. But wherever you go, make sure that you are putting your best effort forward by the help of God because God wants to bless you. And one of these days, the memorial service that we're having today for Miss McKinney is going to be you. Make sure you do something that when that time comes, somebody can stand up and say, you know what? This person made life count. I hope you do that because that is going to be important. Put Christ first. Well, and he'll bless you for it. God bless you. We love you and goodbye.